Yo, what is going on, guys? I am bringing you episode 16 of the Deacastry after about five and a half years of not uploading anything or playing the game. These are from a while ago, but I'm finally going to get back to YouTube like I should be doing, and we're going to get back to work, and we're starting off on episode 16. I believe this team is 8 or 9 and 0, something like that. We were undefeated, started off really good, and we're going to go right into this game and get a nice shorthanded goal right there. And he would come back, though, on that same power play, and we score on ourselves. I don't know what defenseman hit that in. This was from a while ago, but this guy gets a pretty bad goal. Well, a lucky goal for him. Bad, I guess bad play on me. I mean, usually the defenseman would pick it up, not gently slide it in. I will re-show you what happened here. Basically, he made a nice move around me, and I tripped him, and I don't know if there was a penalty or not, but uh, just not a very good one. So right after he scores, we got to get right back in this game. Nice backhand goal that always goes in 90% of the time to make it a 2-1. A power play, nice little move right there, and a nice little finish by Stasny to make it a 3-1 game. And Oliver ekman Larson's going to give it to Stasny, to Mark Stahl, who gets a breakaway and goes backhand, making it 4-1. And then Hopkins right here is going to hop on by and go upstairs and that would end the game and some reason Krejci was there I don't know why I don't know if he did anything that game he's not on my team but anyway I guess he is a fan favorite there so we got 2,000 coins basically and we went 5-0 and and we won division 9 so wow division 9 that's intense anyway now we are in division 8 with a undefeated record and we're gonna start off with an I guess a nice goal right there I mean the goalie probably should have had that to be honest but Nice move right there, and I finished. And then another nice move right there. Again, not going to complain. If this Division 1 and I was making these moves on top-end players, then I'd be like, okay. I mean, that's pretty solid. But I'm not just scoring a bunch of goals, not really giving much in. This is pretty easy. I mean, I haven't played that much, but I am scoring some nice goals. Like, that one's pretty nice. But anyway, I haven't been uploading for, I think you guys know why, but I don't really know if you care that much. But NHL 15, it's just... Ah, it's only hut to play, honestly. I've tried everything else. I've put a bunch of hours into be a pro. Not very fun. Definitely got very uninterested in a few hours. And then GM mode, I tried once, and I, I don't know. It's just, I think NHL 15, or well, NHL 14 on the 360, you got so much more into it. The slow simulating, the quicker menus, the uh, just being so used to that same menu for multiple years, and now this. I mean, it looks nicer. I haven't tried the drafting thing. I don't know if that's any good, but overall, it just seems like a bunch of downgrades, and I've just been really busy with friends, with just a ton of other stuff, so NHL 15 and the Xbox One have been a bit on hold, but I'm hopefully going to be back into it, or at least making more videos for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy and leave a like and comment, comment for sure. I love seeing suggestions, feedback, anything like that, so I do appreciate that a ton, but again, we won the last game. We're winning this game, and we go right into the next game. I believe that game ended 4 nothing. I don't know if either 4 nothing or 3 nothing. but we go into this game, and this game was a bit of a mess. It was, I wouldn't, I, the, the reason why I'm saying mess, I'll explain that in a bit, but this was a very fun game. It says 0-0, but I'm so used to just dominating people, and sure, it's fun winning, but I'd rather have a challenge, and this guy was actually really good. His goalie was, like... I think 8-1, eight 8-2 and one, eight and two with like a 1.2 goals against average. So he was a really good player. Probably did what I did, either made a new team or just got the game for Christmas. Well, before that, because this was uploaded, this was recorded like weeks ago. So he was definitely a good player, though, and it was nice to do that. And I was on a 5-on-3 penalty kill, which was a crucial part of the game. 0-0, zero, zero, 10 minutes left of the third period. And as you do see, I do a pretty good job. I do poke a lot. That's probably something I have to work on and usually it works out I don't poke as much but I'm not really a hitter I usually just poke but I did end up killing the five on three and you will see I kill the five on four as well so that was a crucial part of the game but this game was extremely close I think the shots were 17 18 or 17 16 something like that but it was extremely close I enjoyed the game so much because it's so nice to get on a good note but look at this I don't know what happened I think the goalie just got under his pad and that would be it and going to overtime, I was thinking, and like, okay, maybe I can win this. I think I can win this in the shootout. I'm pretty good in the shootouts, especially against computer goalies. And out of nowhere, the game randomly just lost connection. And at this point, I'm like, why did it do that? And 
again, 18, 17 in shots, and we did end up losing that game. Very, very frustrating. I just, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never really lost connection in any other games, and I show you, I opened like 15 packs, and I show you like three or four here, so I get a Headman in one, which will, he will be joining our team. I don't think I'm going to make a video for Headman because I did last time. There wasn't many highlights of this guy in HD. I like HD highlights. I'm trying to move on along to better quality stuff, not just throwing a bunch of like three, well, that's not even a pixel, but 360 or 480, but I prefer 720 or up, especially for tribute videos and highlights and stuff like that. So Headman will be on the team, so welcome to the team. He was good when I used him prior, but I'm pretty excited to have him on the team with Myers. Those are two big bodies and two really good defensive guys. And a nice little goal right there to start it off, but Headman will not be getting a tribute, sadly. But this next game, going into it, hits the post after I did score the first goal. We're on the power play, and then right there, it froze a bit. I scored, and the game, the game just blew up. I mean... I don't know if this kid was just crying a bit. I mean, the shots were 13 to 1. No, I'm kidding about that. But it was 13 to 1. And right as I scored, the second the puck goes on the line, the game just blows up. Like, again, another game I lost connection. Like, I wasn't, la I haven't been lagging in these games either. Like, it's just so frustrating and confusing. Like, I'll lag out, or I feel like both of us lag out, and then I'll get the loss. And. I don't know, I, I got really annoyed at it at the moment, like the first, because it did that back-to-back -back games. My perfect record was screwed by two games, which I didn't even actually lose. I mean, I was first game was tied 0-0, and this game I was winning 2 nothing with shots 13-1, to not even at the end of the first period. So very, very frustrated. Going into this game, I was like, okay, I need to come back with a win. I need to come back with a win. This reminded me of that one game, which was against Boston, the first game I got disconnected, and this guy... Ah, it's just very frustrating to play against whenever I would try to force him He just came back and do circles and then throw the puck up and stuff like that So it's very frustrating to play him getting a bit annoyed especially with those back-to-back -back losses He shoots it. I don't know if that went off the post or the goalie made the save But either way I was not getting the puck out I finally throw it up not a good way to throw it up and he will just snipe it so early stages of the second period and ah, it's Just very frustrating to play against some people, but we do end up coming out with the loss, so three losses in a row after our perfect start. Two were disconnects, one was a legit loss. This guy played pretty good, but we do end up losing, so that is unfortunate. But this will be the last game of this episode, and I have some stuff recorded as well for the next episode, so stay tuned, it'll be coming out soon. This guy makes a great move and scores a, eh, an alright goal that goes in most of the time, but he made a really nice move to get by like three of my players. And right after he scored, I was like, okay, we got to get back. Four losses in a row is not happening, especially after starting out so good. So we tie the game with Semin. A nice little play there. I don't know who did that. And then look at that beautiful pass. And he gets on by somehow and just misses. I think they hit the post or maybe just went behind. But I thought that should have went in, and it did not. And that was not a very good pass at all. But Pominville keeps it in. And randomly, I decided to take a slap shot, and it went in. And I was actually so surprised. But... That will do it for this game. One more goal, and that will do it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And a little surprise is coming. You guys will have to guess what happens. Two on one, hustling back. Is going up a 